Hi there, guys. So my name is Christian. I'm one of the co-founders at The Depository, and I'm joined today by a man who needs no introduction, Mr. Nick Lyons of No Letting Go and Capture. Nick, how are you? I am very well, very well. Thank you very much. So we're not strangers, Nick. We've been obviously talking for several years, um, industry stuff, but also Depository. And what, about two years ago, um, we integrated Depository with Capture. So this is long, long overdue. Oh, um, and we're going to we're gonna whip through a demo just to really show a little bit about what the Depository does, but primarily what the what the massive win is at our integration with you guys. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to this. Let's... Yeah, so without further ado, um, prevent me waffling too much. Let's share my screen. And that's, can you see my dashboard that's come up, Nick? Yes. I'll Fantastic. Yeah. Cool. So for anyone watching, um, this is really what a depository dashboard looks like. Um, now, one brief disclaimer I'm going to give. We are conducting this demo on our testing environment. Um, it's exactly the same as our live environment. The only thing is it is a little bit slower. So when you see it move between steps on our live environment, that will be almost instant on here there can be a little bit of lag um but really what we do we turn we try to address a few key things so for property managers or admin staff that handle tenancy conclusions but also the management that oversees that team we um enable you guys to have a, an instant oversight of all your concluding tenancies how they're progressing what stage they're at etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's just an instant snapshot really in terms of day-to-day -day use uh, we recommend users focus on these groups at the top um, and just come into the platform ideally two or three times a day and just keep trying to keep these numbers as close to zero as possible which just means you're just nurturing your tenancies through the platform so for those of you who don't know me i'm a letting agent myself i have been for 22 23 no 21 years now um and still yeah, you know, very young. Still looking very young, yeah. <laughs> i'll uh, i'll i'll peel the fake face off later um but yeah so so really we started this journey for our own agency uh we started looking at how we do things and we've got a lot of tech and partners that we work with in the business and what we landed on was the the big drain on us as a business um was tenancy conclusions very repetitive very boring very easy to miss a step particularly if you had staff go sit go on holiday etc etc a huge frustration point for tenants you know we have really good relationships with our tenants but we found that no matter how good that relationship was we'd get to the end um and they'd be this oh yeah this is where you're going to rip us off uh sort of thing and so that's where we came at this from we came at this really primarily from an agent's perspective how can we streamline this job how can we automate as much as possible how we how can we remove the really boring turgid parts of the job um but we had a really good look at the tenant and landlord journey in that as well and how do we make that clean and simple and fair um and part of that fair is why it was really important that we partnered with companies like no letting go and capture um and I because, think, can I just buy in it, uh, Chris, because I think what, for, from our perspective, um, you know, the, the, the journey for, a, for an inventory company such as, so obviously we, we have two sides to our business. We have no letting go, which is, which is you know, 90 offices, some eight, 9,000 visits a month, enormous amount of, of activity going through the market, uh, picking up uh, images, checkouts, midterms, all that stuff pouring into the, And of course, when you've got, you're that busy, you know, in terms of our clients are that busy, uh, there's an enormous amount of administration that goes on through the system. And then, of course, we've got our capture side of our business, which is where we um, provide the, the tools, the software tools to our clients that want to sort of combine that knowledge and go and capture things. But it all comes into one data point. And fundamentally, you're collecting this vast amount of information that has to be analysed. And one of the big problems that we always, you know, many of our clients will have, is that we're getting all this data into the system, but you know, our, our client then have got to, have got to analyse this data. Obviously, we give them as you know, as many exception reports. We help them as much as possible. But what we can't do is then plug in the next stage in you know of their system. And of course, when you and I spoke, Chris, many years ago. 
Yeah. Um, it was, you know, it, you know, you're coming out from an agent. I'm coming out from a, you know, years doing inventories, uh, and it just, it just made a lot of sense. Um, and it's something that people, you know, oddly enough, hadn't looked at at that particular, particular time. So yeah, it's a, it's a. Sorry, I'll let, I'll let you carry on. No, mate, absolutely, butt in, and, and you're going to have to because I think everyone knows I'm not, I'm not backwards at talking. So <laughs> make sure you own that bit. But. Um, but yeah, I think look, we look, we touched on this. We had a brief chat before, didn't we? I think one of the complexities about what you guys and what us do is this isn't sexy. No, you know, it's not a glamorous part. We're not landing clients. We're not smashing out valuations. We're not generating big deals. This is the sort of this is the bit that doesn't get spoken about. This is yeah. the bit that gets you know parked at the back of the office and you know comes at the end at the end of the revenue earning journey as well let's not forget that you know we we come in when all the money's been banked and and kind of the job's done but there's this really important really contentious um and rather sort of turgid process so yeah what we've tried to do is reduce agent time and what we're now seeing you know our research showed us that that to conclude a tenancy from after notice through to refund is somewhere between three to four hours manual work for your average agent um, and we're now averaging most of our agents will now conclude a tenancy in around 15 minutes of work um, yeah. if they use all of our partner integrations and the biggest win that they will get is our partner integration with no letting go and capture you know and we'll and we'll get to that in a minute so let's stop alluding let's get cracking so I'm going to bring up a tenancy that we've set up in our system. Just bear me a second. So here we go. So we've got a tenancy set up in our system, and we're going to advise that notice has been served. So just one thing to clarify, our platform does not facilitate the issuing of notice. We look after everything immediately after that. So whether it's the agent serving notice or receiving notice from the tenant, we look after everything that happens after that. So we're going to assign this tendency to myself. We're going to assign to Clark. And just make sure this is all, yeah, this is all set up correctly. Just click save to start the process. And here we are. So this is our tenancy dashboard. This is largely, obviously there are slight changes, but this tenancy dashboard for the tenant, agent and landlord is very, very similar. The layout is the same. The functionality is the same. Obviously, some GDP, for GDPR, some information is visible, some not others. Some functionality about changing users, editing amounts, that is agent only. But the core stuff, so this timeline, so this was one of our big objectives right at the start, was for tenants and landlords to make a visual journey of what is required to get to get their money back. You know, because again, that's another thing as agents you get from the moment you serve notice until the moment you refund that money is regular chases from your tenant, be that emails, calls, whatever. When am I getting my deposit back? So we massively reduce that burden on your inbox and on your phone system because tenants can visually see where they are in the journey. This whole timeline can be interacted with. Every step has what we call micro stages. So it sets out how many steps need to happen to complete that relevant stage. But the point is, it's very, very visual. And if I quickly, we are obviously fully responsive. So if I just shrink this down a bit, once we get small enough, this is what we look like on a tablet or a mobile. So it becomes a wheel instead of a timeline, but still same functionality, fully interactive. Um, and yeah, so let's whiz through and get to the checkout as quick as we can. So one thing in our platform, inventory, is the booking of a checkout and the checkout is the actual physical event there is still a the, the, this is a prize that's been running for nearly three years if anyone can come up with a single word that is better than inventory for booking a checkout let us know we we, um, we, we use i mean his, you know historically we use the process of all of the all of the activity is is uh, deemed as inventory management and yeah. that's inventory is injury i mean the full word is inventory and schedule a condition of course well there you go inventory <laughs> is, is a list of items and a, a, and actually what you're interested in is the condition so the inventory and schedule a condition is the uh, very bespoke to the property industry name and then of course checkouts um are the exception reports it registers change so yeah but the management is that is the whole process including midterms 
So we're going to quickly whip through. We've got the platform configured. So the agent sets the checkout time. So we're going to come in. The checkout is set for today. We're going to say that that was an ATM appointment this morning. Obviously, this would be done way in advance normally. We're sort of bunching everything together for the purpose of the demo today. And what the platform's now done, that has emailed the tenant to say, by the way, your checkout's happening this date, this time. You can customize those emails with whatever those processes are. So some of our agents require keys to be returned to the local office um, at least a day before. Um, some require you to meet the clerk on site, but whatever it is, that could be customized. Um, now, uh, cleaning arrangements. Um, we recommend that this is guided by the tenant. Now, um, we don't facilitate the booking of the clean. The whole purpose of this is that the tenant needs to submit what their cleaning arrangements are. And this is all about, again, tenants understanding what their responsibilities are. If I hop across over to my emails, um, we've got, so here we are. Here is the email for the tenant saying, please let us know what your cleaning arrangements are. And we're just going to open that up just to show what the tenant journey looks like. And so, you know, here's the tenant journey. There is one recommended cleaner that's been set up by the agent. So those details are there. Um, and the tenant can choose, can say, yeah, do you know what? I've called them, was happy with the quote. I've booked them. Or I've booked it in with another company and they can type that in or self-clean. But whatever they choose, we're going to say that they're friendly, compliant tenants and they've been happy with the quote. They've booked that clean in. But to submit this, they have to acknowledge the cleaning checklist, which again is a bespoke document our clients can set up. And that can set out anything from what are technically, what is technically required from a clean to be handed back, pros and cons of doing it themselves, etc. But again, it's all about removing areas of ignorance, areas of um, uncertainty for a tenant. And so there you see the tenant's dashboard, very, very similar to the agents, just a smaller menu, um, but near identical. So we're going to come back into the agent's dashboard. And so, so we've booked the checkout. The tenant submitted their clean. We've arrived at the end date. The platform knows that the checkout was booked for 8 a.m. this morning. So it wants confirmation that's happened. Now, just to quickly show, this can be facilitated manually. So you can come in and say, yep, the checkout's been completed. When you receive the checkout report or if you generate it yourself, you can upload it and fill out the meter readings. But that's not why we're here today. What we're here today is to show what our integration with you guys does. And this is where we're at. So I'm going to hop across to our capture dashboard. We have a report typed up, ready to go. So fingers crossed. It's going to work. We're going to click upload and send. So we've already linked the records between the systems. Um, the report's been prepared. Um, whether you're an agent that chooses to use Capture and do it in-house or you do this outsourced through um, through the No Letting Go service, either way, uh, this integration can be facilitated. Yeah, um, and, and it's worth it's worth pointing out that that um, anyone who's a Capture um, you know licensee or uses Capture or of course any of the um, uh, No Letting Go clients throughout the throughout the UK you know get this um as you know it's free of charge it's not a, it's not it's not a chargeable thing from as far as we can it's just part of the service just need to tell us and we plug it in exactly exactly right the integration between us is completely free of charge no setup fee no ongoing increase in membership anything like that it's just our companies working together yeah. uh, to deliver the agents a great service so whilst we've been talking there the magic has already happened so what you can see is that we were on checkout it's now completed that stage, completed the meter readings, and it's gone to the deductions. And we're here. We've got a prompt review deposit deductions. If we scroll down, we've got the checkout report in the system here. So that is already live and available. You click on that. That can be seen. Um, when those reports land in our system, we trigger emails out to the landlord, to the tenant, according to the agent settings. Um, so most agents have that go out to the landlord straight away. So the landlord get an email saying, great news, checkout report's finished. It's in the platform available to view and download. Tenants can be notified immediately, um, but quite a lot of our agents choose our other setting, which is they will get an email saying that the checkout report has been completed but is under review. Um, and it then gets released once they get sent proposed deductions or are told there are none. Okay. Now, 
I'm just going to take it back a step and I'm just going to show you what's happened before we get to the import, which is the big sort of mind blowing bit. So we know we've validated the checkout has taken place, which in our platform validates the end date. We know that the checkout report has been uploaded because that's in here. We hop across to meter readings and view. Here we go. So we have extracted all the meter reading data out of the report. So whatever is in there, the reading, the meter number, the photo, if it's there, we capture it. Um, if you choose to, we do have a utility partner integration with a company called Please Connect Me. And if you, and again, that's another free partnership. And if you do adopt that partnership, um, we instantly send this information. So the moment this landed in our box, that was instantly transferred to Please Connect Me, and they have all the certified end dates, meter readings, and utility data, so they can make sure all the bills are closed off. So you don't need to input that into any other dashboard. That just happens simultaneously. And so now we get to the deduction stage. So let's come into review deductions, and here we go. So we've got what probably somewhere in the region of about 15 dilapidations that have been flagged as tenant liability within the checkout report or liability unknown um, and if we expand one of these we can see that we've captured the description we've captured any uh, the, rather the category any description we've pulled through the relevant documents the tenancy agreement check in and check out but we've also captured the photographic evidence that is all in there now the reason these are in red is the main thing that's missing from these at the moment is a value. Um, but importantly, and what we've recently added as a kind of phase two of our partner in, uh, um, inventory integrations is the ability to now clean up what's been pulled in through the system. Because you don't really want to be negotiating 15 deductions. You don't want to be negotiating what well, I think there's probably about eight different cleaning charges here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull a lot of these together so we're going to pull all the cleaning ones together reception floor bathroom kitchen oven and basins kitchen extractor so those are all cleaning um that one's coming on the cleaning but that's sort of gardening um although we looked at the photos that was cleaning up the patio so we're going to put that all under cleaning so now i've ticked multiple boxes we've got this merge deduction buttons up button up here so we're going to come in here we can edit this we can say various cleaning issues uh, we're going to assign a value so we're going to say right we've already spoken to our cleaners or they've maybe they've already been in um, and that's the cost now what we've got here is the issue description of all of those issues we've merged together all captured together and if we come down to the bottom all of the photos for all of those issues all gathered together okay now we can reference all of these these three evidence fields are optional for an agent. We do recommend filling it out at least the tenancy contract clause one if possible. But you can reference the inventory and, che and check in. You can reference the checkout report. Um, but we're going to come in here and we're going to say, OK, so agents can pre-populate popular tenancy clauses in the back end of the system. They've got a few here. They haven't done a cleaning one. So we're but we're going to type one in. So we're going to say enter manually. We're going to say G6 cleaning requirements and the tenancy so we're just going to cite a clause now also we can add something so let's say we do have an official quote or we do have an invoice or a receipt for that job i can add that to that as well mm. you know so not only have we got all the evidence from you guys we've got that invoice or quote um there we go that's in there and just going to merge deductions and we just give that a couple of seconds to work its magic. And again, in our live environment, it will do this a little bit quicker because we're in our test environment. One second. So we come down here. And then just to show you, so we've got various cleaning issues, 180 pounds. We can still expand that. There's all the descriptions. There's all the evidence with the invoice we added to it. Now, what's that taken? Two, three minutes with me waffling over the top of it how long if you're a property manager or an admin watching this how long would it have taken you to go through an entire checkout report identify all the cleaning issues and type those up I mean, assign it, value? It, yeah it's, i mean it's, it's uh, you know it is a it is a process i mean you probably you've probably taken an hour 
I yeah. would imagine, conservatively, depending on the size of the checkout, of course, out of uh, out of that process. You know, and then we've got. So I'll whip through. I'll whip through these other. You know, these other ones quickly because I think everyone now gets the idea. But what we're going to do? There's there's two gardening ones here. So we're just going to merge those two together. Uh, we're going to actually. No, we'll leave that as damage. Um, garden maintenance issues. And again, we're going to assign a value. We're going to choose garden maintenance, which is already pre populated. So there we go. So we're going to move those, merge those two. Hopefully, that was quite easy. Done. And then the remaining maintenance issues, light fitting, scuffed walls. Uh, we're going to merge those because we're going to have one maintenance contractor go in and address those four issues. Mm. Um, so general damage, and again, um, property. And so there we have it. In three, four minutes. What we've done is we've captured a checkout report. We've extracted, we sorry, hold on. We've captured the checkout report and distributed that. Yeah. We've extracted all the meter reading data. And if you use our partner integration, we've instantly distributed that to them. So bills are being closed instantly. We've extracted all the dilapidations out of the report, all the evidence in there, and we've now merged them and assigned a value. Yeah. You know, and, and, like I said, this is our biggest win. This is, you know, when we were building these integrations with you guys two years ago, we were really excited. Um, I think the thing at the time that caught us slightly off guard was the volume of issues that can come in. And that that really was was a mistake by me as an agent. Uh, I should have I should have foreseen that. Yeah, um, particularly in the you know, historically of the student market, which of yeah. course are big are big properties, not so much they're necessarily any worse than anyone else, but they're typically eight, nine, ten bedroom properties. And that's the, a lot of notes. It, it's a lot of notes. That's a, that's, a, that's a lot of information coming in. Um, and of course, a, a big, you know, we within our system, we're consolidating data. Um, but of course, the, the important thing is, is that in this system, you're consolidating all in the right places so that it can be moved out elsewhere. So that's, it's, it's, yeah, it's a great bit of kit, Chris. Really well, what this does, you know, working with you guys, like I said, part of our journey is about making this fair, transparent, and, and sort of evidence and factual. And so what we're finding, what we're seeing, um, you know, we've been going over two and a half, approaching three years now. Um, we see between 70 to 80 percent of all proposed deductions are accepted by tenants without any negotiation because um, it's very hard to argue you know rather than getting this long rambling email about how disappointing it is they didn't do xyz rather than being presented with three very factual you know here's the tenancy agreement that sets out your responsibility here's the check-in report that shows it wasn't like that when you moved in and here's the checkout report that shows it was and there's the invoice to fix it and here's five photos of the damage you caused yeah you know. but it does highlight christian how how critical images are i mean so absolutely you you know that that uh, you know, we and we we still have got less so with agents these days, but certainly, you know, I've been doing this for, for getting on twenty years, and, and of course, you know the uh, you know the devil's in the detail. You know, well, I used to do presentations to, to to landlords, and I'd say disputes are determined at the beginning of a tenancy, not the end. Yeah, you've got exactly. to get your paperwork in order. And yeah. I still ascertain. I think I think inventories are are probably the best value that a landlord gets in the whole process if it's done right because yeah. if you think the value of the asset that an inventory record protects a landlord yeah. for versus what you pay to get that record that's an insane kind of return on investment well, it is, but, but also one of one of the one of the you know the uh, the hidden costs and subsequently this is a this is a uh, comes a benefit of course is uh, you know the the process that takes to get this information through in the uh, yeah at the end of the tenancy is a void period, particularly in high rental areas. You know if you've got nobody moving into that property for a week because of sorting out a lot of a lot of issues at the back end of it, it's a cost. And we say to people, you know, well, obviously we're upselling inventory services and all that sort of thing, but you know we'll say to people that obviously the efficiency of the negotiation side of the business 
it is critical. You're looking at uh, the importance uh, of, of your brand to tenants and landlords, and you doing a great service. But actually, the, the, you know, the daily cost of a tenant not being in that property yeah. is, is, is incredible. You know, anything to do to get, get the process moving over much, much quicker. Um, so look nick whilst you've been talking what i've just also been doing is i'm just showing that as well as what comes out of the report agents can add other things so i'm just adding a rent arrears cost to the proposal so you know we've just added this in you're not limited to only being able to add things relating to an inventory so we've extracted the inventory data we've added in rent arrears yeah. now Today, we're not going to take everyone through the whole journey. What I am going to quickly show is I'm just going to take us through the landlord sign off process, which then uh, and, and then it being presented to a tenant. And I think we'll we'll leave today's demo at that point when we get there. Yeah, so yeah. as an agent, when you're ready, you go to sign off deductions. You can skip landlord approval depending on the level of service, but we're going to now send this off for a landlord to approve. Now, importantly, one of the things we do with landlords is we have um a five day sort of silence is acceptance rule within our platform um so you see here this example of the email a landlord would get tenancy proposed deductions and this very bold statement and they will get a daily reminder that they must respond within five days and if they don't respond within five days like i said silence is seen as acceptance that is approval and it just keeps the tenant moving who keeps the tenancy moving so you don't get an irate tenant screaming down the phone because a landlord's gone off on holiday for two weeks and decided that this can wait till till they get back from holiday so we're going to quickly jump in just to see what the landlord sees and again i think collaborating with inventory clerks this is how letting agents and property management companies really set out what a robust professional setup they've got because you compare a landlord getting this to some waffly email uh, where it goes, oh, you know, we've gone through this and we've gone through that, and here's a list of things. And oh, if you want to have a look at the checkout report, you can see the photos for yourself. But literally, as we saw on the dashboard, the landlord can come in here, they can see all the notes, all the evidence, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And and landlords have a choice; they can accept, edit, or delete individual deductions if they want to, um, or they can do a one-click, two-click, accept all. Um, so pretty straightforward stuff. You know, we do have some landlords go to, you know what, I'm not fussed, I'm selling the house. And I'll take out that and I'll take out that. I'm really not fussed about it. Sometimes, and this is probably more common, this won't surprise agents watching, um, they will edit it. Um, and the main thing they will want to edit is the amount that's been proposed and typically upwards. Um, <laughs> now we do have a process in here. Uh, agents watch this, don't worry. A landlord can't come in here and suddenly whack these all up like double all of these and send them off to the tenant without you knowing. We do do some reputation management. So if a landlord proposes any changes, the ball gets passed back to the agent. And again, we've got that five day timeline sort of lock in for approval. But for the purpose of today, we're gonna to say that Mr. Landlord or Mrs. Landlord has come in. They're blown away by how concise all of these deductions are. They can see everything's been covered and they're gonna go, great. We're happy with those proposals. And again, there's an opportunity for you to see a landlord's dashboard. So again, very similar to what we've seen before. Um, and we're just gonna come back into the dashboard for the agent. So we can see this is moving through, deductions proposed, deductions agreed and sent. And we're not gonna go through this process, but we're just gonna show. So here is the email to the tenant. Now, the only slight difference is the email to the tenant, we actually itemize the deductions before they even go in the platform. Um, the settings were made so the checkout report was only available at this stage so we've now got the statement that the checkout report is also available yeah and you know the tenant jumps in and similar but just very slightly different design for tenants but very very similar generally so again they've got this one click accept all this is very much what they're expecting and again they can expand each issue they can see every piece of documented evidence. All of these can be clicked on and opened to be seen in more detail, be that a photo, be that the inventory report moving in at the start of the tenancy or the checkout report, whatever that is. The point is the tenant has every document at their fingertips able to assess it quickly. Um, and they can now engage, accept or counter, um, and they will now go through that process with the agents. 
Um, so I really just wanted to focus on the core bit of what you guys do. Obviously, we then facilitate going through negotiations. And once we get to the end of that, we, for insured scheme, we capture all the reconciliation data. So how the funds are split, all the bank details. If we capture bank details, we capture forwarding addresses because tenants have to give us a forwarding address to give us a bank detail. If you're on a custodial scheme, then all we will do is gather the reconciliation um, in terms of deductions. Um, and the moment that is agreed and signed off, we then send that data over to TDS um, and they then facilitate reconciliation and concluding deposit registration certificate. Mm. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that was really, let's jump back on here. Let's stop presenting. So that's it. That is really trying to highlight the massive win that our partner integration does. Yeah, um, it's, I, you know, I, I just think, I mean, the, what's also interesting, of course, is that, yeah, the, the, all of the companies developing. So our companies developing, collecting more more data, more services are coming in. As time goes on, obviously working with you, Christian, will yeah, additional data will be able to be fed into these. Um, so it's you know it's it's a living, breathing um, uh, partnership. Um, yeah, and look, talking about talking about data, we've we've rolled out some really exciting reporting functionality. We rolled that out. A about two three months ago now um so you know you've got your generic snapshots of where where a tenancy's at which for larger organizations the dashboard isn't going to cut it um but i think the three reports that agents get most excited about with us is we've got time to close so the time it takes to return a deposit from after the checkout and you can do that at account branch or individual user level um percentage achieved on proposed deductions so what is the original amount of deductions proposed versus what is the final agreed amount so again management can see you know I, I think that that data highlights two things the fairness of what's being proposed but also the competency of the member of staff negotiating those yeah um and we can also do a sort of itemized breakdown of what those dilapidations are so again for medium to larger operations if they have or are looking to bring maintenance in-house, we can actually provide a lot of data around what those typical dilapidations are, mm -hmm. what type of work, so they can plan resources, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, those, those are the big ones. We also didn't touch on dispute reports. Now, yeah. again, we don't hang our hook on this because disputes for most agents is sort of one to 2%. Um, but because of the way we collect all the data and we have all the documents in there, um, when you're doing a dispute through TDS with us, you don't create a dispute file. Uh, we will generate a dispute file for you. Now with custodial, we generate that file for you and then you then upload it. But that's all you have to do, just upload it into the system. For the insured scheme, you don't have to do anything. Literally, it is two clicks of a button. Um, you can add further evidence if you want to, but providing everything needed is already in the platform and is literally two clicks of a button. And we generate that file and pass that straight to TDS. So again, it doesn't happen often, but most agents I talk to, uploading a, or submitting a dispute file is a good one to two hours work. Yeah, well, one, one, um, it's right. it doesn't happen that often, but when you have it, when it does happen, it's a like, oh. You know. And it's horrible because fundamentally all you're doing is repeating the work that you've yeah. done over the last four, eight, 12 weeks, whatever, however long it's been going on. And, and also, you've also got to try and collect all the information together as well. That, and that's yeah. where the, the time, have I got that? You know. All the emails, all the evidence, all the documents, everything you've been referring to throughout that whole conversation, you've now got to provide to TDS. We've now got that all in our system, um, which we provide to TDS in an approved format. Um, so yeah, so you know that that's another big win. We don't like I said, we don't go big sell on that because I know for most agents it's not high volume, but for most agents again, if you're a medium to larger operation, it is a fact of life. You do have a few of those, and particularly right now in peak season, probably your your highest volume of disputes happening at the point where you're having to process your highest volume of tenancy <laughs> transitions as well. So it's yeah, you know, yeah. it's that it's that double whammy of Jesus, I really don't have two hours spared to do this right now, but you've got no choice. So look Nick, I will I will stop waffling on. Thanks for your time today. Um absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. And uh I you know I it's a great bit great bit of software. Um a real 
and I've said this many, many times that, that you know, the, the there is software and there's software. There's software that solve problems, uh, yeah. and then and it's nice to have software. And I think this yeah. actually solves the problem. Um, yeah, exactly. And look, so I think anyone watching this, if you, you know, if this has intrigued you at all, if you just want to find out more, reach out to the guys at No Letting Go of Capture or come to us. It doesn't matter. Um, we'll happily do our best to answer whatever questions we can and, and refer across um, accordingly. Yeah. Um, so maybe you use a different inventory provider um, and you're thinking, my God, you know, this could be a double whammy. We could bring in the depository to streamline stuff, but we could also bring in No Letting Go and benefit from that integration. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, come and talk to us. We, you know, we we will take you through the whole process end, end to end, you know, how it all fits fits together. You know, as as I mentioned office earlier on, we've got we've got you know ninety offices across the UK. Um, you, know, you know, big teams of people, enormous amount of scope to to uh, deliver demand. And of course, the one big advantage we have is that we combine the internal um, reporting, which is capture, yeah. with with the external side. So actually, you have this combination of uh, you can use both resources in in house and external, all in one place. So whether you're using capture to do midterms and notice and go to do images and checkouts or or you're doing the checkout and we, you know and we're doing the uh, inventory it all still goes into depository yeah it, and also guys obviously we didn't show today but our platform is completely white labeled you know it was all done in depository blue and our logo today but that would all be sat with your agency brand your agency color um all of the communications our platform goes through could be customized you have um, a subdomain bespoke landing page. So you, everything from end to end is agency branded. Um, Nick, I don't know about you. For us, we can onboard clients very quickly. I mean, we can do a demo if an agent gives us the thumb up. I mean, we've got clients at the moment who, you know, they say, yep, they want to go ahead. And and we're training their staff within a week of having that call. We, yeah, we, we exactly the same. I mean, we... You know, we onboard people whether it's on capture or no list and go. No list and go, of course, is an outsourced service, so it's instantaneous. Um, so you know, we just set you up as an account, we agree the pricing, and then it, it happens, whether it's on a national level or, or locally with one of the offices. As far as capture concerned, yes, there's a demo. Obviously, we've been doing inventories, uh, you know, that is our that is our game. Um, so we so we 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 impart all the inventory knowledge to you to show you how to do it. Um, and then it gives you the ability to to do it in house. Um, and then if you ever get stuck or on holidays or whatever, then no listen go always steps in and uh, and covers for you. That's one of the big advantages. Nick, Isn't thanks it? so much for your time today. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think you know what we're saying for agents is if you want to transform your tenancy conclusion operations, easy for me to say. Um, you want to drive that workload down from three to four hours to ten to fifteen minutes. You want to embrace best practice with inventory recording, checkout reporting, all that data extraction. Um, and everything that comes with that, get in touch. Um, contact No Letting Go, get in touch with Depository, and we'll help you guys transform how you do things. Nick, buddy, thanks for your time. See you Thank soon. Thank you very now. much. Take care. All right. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.